Hello friends, Mrs. Court here for a little lesson with Mrs. Court. Today we're going to focus on punctuation. Punctuation is something that comes at the end of a sentence. Punctuation helps us when we read in our heads or out loud to know that our voice needs to stop. In first grade, we've focused on these three punctuation marks, a period, exclamation point, question mark. We have a song for this one, which is, it shouldn't be a meatball, it shouldn't be a sprinkle, it should be the size of something in the middle, because our periods should not look like the sun, and they should not look like this, like we were doodling, got tired, what happened here? No, we want them to be nice and round and obviously a period. This is an exclamation point. This is used with strong feelings, like when you're excited, when you're angry, or when you're trying to tell someone to look out. A question mark is used at the end of asking sentences, like, do you like pizza? You would add a question mark because you just asked a question. Let's practice. Okay, so a shiny example of a period is maybe familiar if you've ever watched the movie Frozen and the character Olaf introduces himself and he says, hi, I'm Olaf and I like warm hugs. At the end of the sentence, my voice dropped and stopped. It's like when you see a red light, you have to stop your car and wait for just a little bit before you start going again. Let's read it together. Hi, I'm Olaf and I like warm hugs. Awesome. Ready for another one? Here we have our exclamation point. Ever seen Lego movie? There's a big song in it called Everything is Awesome. When you sing it, you have a strong feeling. You're saying everything is awesome. You wouldn't say everything is awesome. That would be a period. When you read an exclamation point, you would say, everything is awesome. Excited, strong feeling. Another example, ever seen Encanto? There's a song in it called, We Don't Talk About Bruno. You need to let everyone know, we don't talk about him. It's a strong feeling that you have. We don't talk about Bruno. Your voice is excited or scared. You're warning someone. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. Okay, that's enough. A question sentence. You're asking someone something. Back to Frozen. Anna is asking Elsa over and over again if she wants to build something. Do you know what that thing is? Do you want to build a house? Ah! What? How did that happen? Do you want to build a sandcastle? Do you want to build a pumpkin? Do you want to build a Batman? That makes no sense. Do you want to build a castle for your teacher to live in? No, not that. What is it? Build an igloo. Do you want to build a pizza? Who's building a pizza? Do you want to build a snowman? I knew it. Our sentence, do you want to build a snowman? This has a question mark at the end. My voice should go up when I ask a question. Do you like pizza? Do you want to build a snowman? My voice goes up because I'm asking you something. When you read your stories, if you see a question mark, your voice should go up. That means your inflection, your voice is changing as you read. This is something really good readers do. I'm going to write down three sentences, each with different punctuation marks. Our voice will need to change as we read. I wrote something down. I'm gonna read it once. If you can read it with me the first time, let's do it. But the second time, we're all going to read together and we're going to try to change our voice based on the punctuation marks that we see. Are you ready? Here I go, get my pointer. My name is Mrs. Court. Do you like ice cream? I love ice cream. Did you hear how my voice changed? You wanna read it with me? Here I go. Now it says my name is Mrs. Court. I know you're not Mrs. Court, but like, we're just gonna to have to do it for this practice round. Um, but there is only one Mrs. Court. You ready? My name is Mrs. Court. Stop like you're at a red light. Pause for a second. 
do you like ice cream? Voice goes up. I love ice cream. Excited, strong feeling. Can you imagine? I love ice cream. I love ice cream. No, strong feeling. I love ice cream. Thank you for hanging out with me for today's little lesson about punctuation. See you soon.